so black women florida is pretty much messing itself up because not so much about the immigrant thing with the farmers and not having anybody to work because truth be told they have a lot of people in florida that could actually work to replace the hispanic people but people are trying to make a point about desantis and him being the governor and what he's doing to florida now of course hispanic people are going to try to make this about them thinking that you know they're so important that this is all happening because of them it's not this is about desantis and how he's anti-black number one because we are citizens of this country not migrants not immigrants we are our history our people built this entire country including and especially florida okay there's a huge history in florida that is not taught in school and then there's the fact that this guy desantis is against the alphabet community lgbq right he's against black teaching black history changing the schools trying to whitewash everything at it within his power of of governor right he's also trying to make living there incredible if you're not a, a white person from america so it's like what does he expect when other countries and this country understands that don't go to florida because they have no tolerance for anyone who's not a white anglo-saxon protestant woman or man so that means everybody else that doesn't look like him and behave like him with the same idiotic mindset right those stupid bitches the daughters of liberty and etc this is what happens because even if you take the hispanics out of the equation right you still have the fact that he's literally trying to erase our history that is the most important part. You could always get people to replace workers, right? Because honestly, Florida has a real problem they have to deal with with the Hispanic people. Their anti-blackness, the fact that they're not even citizens of this country, trying to disrespect and give maltreatment towards African-American people who built this country and who fought for civil rights and et cetera, where none of these people, if it wasn't for us fighting for equality, for other people of color wouldn't even be able to come to this country. Because when you look at the history of this country, they were only letting in other white people, not Hispanics, not anyone else, not even Asians that much. So I know they want to make it about them because they, they actually do think things are always about them, but it's not. This is a bigger picture because this is about America. The bigotry of this man, he's staring up history of African Americans, Eidos people, African descendants of slavery that this country always tries to blanket over and hide as if it wasn't as horrendous and as wicked as it really was. And that is the thing, the intolerance of people period, especially Eidos people, and then the tolerance of just allowing another person their humanity is what other countries other states are seeing in this white man from florida who is the governor who is basically a klansman in the office thinking that he's actually going to run for president if he actually even has a, a career after he's finished with this governor um position it, it will amaze me because he is a staunch bigot he's a klansman he is the history of this country not even in full force but he's just the peak of the iceberg okay so when people are reacting the way that they should because black people we told y'all months ago when he started this shit boycott florida we told you whenever you want to deal with white people in america you got to hit their pockets they don't understand humanity they don't understand equality they don't understand doing the right thing. All they understand is, oh, you're taking my money from me. So take their money from them. So Florida is a state that really can't survive on its own without tourism and whatever fucking crops 
the farm itself. So if there are no people, and people are deliberately not working for the farmers. It's just not the, the immigrant Hispanic people. Because you got local people there since my grandmother was nine years old that where American people have always shared crop, especially black people, because that was the only job we can get. So you have people that will not do anything. They're not sharecropping, they're not picking fruit, they're not doing anything down there. They're not dealing with animals, they're not doing anything. So, when this guy is running around talking about how his state is the place where woke comes to die, he has no idea what the definition of woke is. Woke means that black people recognize systematically the things that are happening to them where they are in their community that are keeping them stagnant and keeping them policed and knocked out of the loop being disenfranchised continue continuing to be disenfranchised and kept in the state of second class citizenship so it is basically white america constantly always trying to keep black people down and for those of y'all who don't know why they do it it is because the fact that they held us in captivity in this country systematically and physically and mentally for 250 years right so they really feel that if we ever get to any type of equal standing with them we will seek revenge believe me if black people as a black person i'm speaking wanted to seek revenge we could do that shit tomorrow these people are not that that brilliant that incredible that undefeatable that we couldn't do it it is the fact that you know we're not like them we have never been as savage as them and our thing is about inclusivity and treating people decent as long as they treat us decent you know you don't you don't never see us being the main people running around in droves all throughout america doing things the way desantis is doing even when you have reports of hispanic people in florida disrespecting black patrons in restaurants in businesses etc i don't know why they do that because their anti-blackness is, is incredibly stupid because if we would get on a kick to back people to continue doing things like the santas they would be in trouble but that's not who we are so they need to stop you know projecting that stupid anti-blackness that comes from people like the santas that they have been taught in their culture towards us it's ridiculous and black people, this is your country. Stop taking that shit from them. When they're doing that dumb bullshit, make the complaints to the federal government and the state the way that you need to. Get them, get them fucking fired. And if they don't know how to control themselves, have that business dealt with. Shut it down if you have to. They have no right to come here, citizens or not, and treat black people. The people whose bodies, blood and everything else stain the fucking lands and grounds of this country. To come here and treat us like they don't have to deal with us like we're a human being and have common decency or civility no no that's not how it goes so i don't care what's happening to florida i know black people are gonna be all right in florida so that's all i'm worrying about okay but as far as desantis is concerned he deserves everything he gets because he's a bigot clansman walking around in 2023 for no reason at all. If he would be a decent governor or would have been a decent governor in Florida, he wouldn't have these problems he's having right now. But he doesn't know how to do that because he doesn't know how to look at other people who are not white as human beings. And especially not African Americans, right? And it's ridiculous. Like all he has to do is deal with everybody the same way provide everybody the same opportunity and then you don't have crime you don't have all of this nonsense that you have going on in florida and all in all other parts of america you don't have that it's when you deprive people of things that they need for basic survival and just respect of their humanity you get problems like this and now i know he's not stupid he wishes he never was going that hard thinking that that little percentage of white vote and patronizing and catering 
and placating the white people's prejudices and ignorances about uh, black people and Hispanics was going to really make this dude the president. If he gets like 50 votes, I'll be shocked. I mean, it is just fucking ridiculous how he's really that dumb and went to supposedly some of the greatest schools. It's ridiculous. But anyway, good job, black people. Keep going. Nobody work. Everybody stay away from everything that those people make their money off of the poor people. And let them suffer like poor people for a change. Because they really don't understand anything anyone else goes through until it affects them. So let it affect the hell out of them. Keep going, Florida. Keep boycotting. Keep staying away from big business. Good night.